Hey, how are you doing? My name is Diamond Styles. I wear so many hats. I am the executive director of a nonprofit. I am the host of a podcast. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an organizer. Most of the work that I do revolves around educating, creating safe space for LGBT people, and creating survival mechanisms for my community. Usually, <laughs> usually all the things that I do revolve around our trauma, our harm, deaths, you know, Look at um, this past year. We just started a brand new year, but last year was crazy when it comes to COVID-19 and the isolation. And, and then it was a record number of deaths for Black trans women. So much trauma, so much um, sadness and indifference and numbness in this work that I do. All the things that I've been through in my life, all of the traumas, all of the things, from my youth all the way to now. I would not have survived it without artists and content creators creating things for me to consume, whether it be music, film, visual art, photography, any type of art that just brings you joy. So right now I am starting an initiative to be able to create a facility where I can cultivate and create that kind of joy for other people. I want to be able to showcase artists in our community. I know me as an artist myself, I, um, I'm a songwriter. So I love to get in the studio and record. But in my past, a lot of people weren't giving me the opportunity. And when I did get the opportunity, you know, it was something weird going on. You know, a guy let me go to his studio and then, you know, let me record. But then I had to turn it, it has to turn into some freak sexual favors for me to continue to working with him. He's not focused on the art. And so I want to kind of create a space for artists to come and feel safe. And so we can co cultivate their work in a space where they feel supported and loved. So I want a place where not only can we create the art, but we can also showcase it to the people. So people who are invested in Black, queer, trans joy <laughs> can come and support and, you know, be a part of creating moments of joy. We are coming out of this time of being isolated and I want to create a space where we can come together and build community around art and social justice. And I gave a full description down in the bottom. I just wanted y'all to see my face and understand and hear my voice that I am totally committed to creating spaces of joy. Because I think our joy is just as important to our survival as our trauma. And sometimes I get tired of doing work around trauma. <laughs> I get tired, you know, if anybody out there who grant rights and or who works in nonprofit or who is an organizer, you always are talking about the disparities and the oppression and da 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 da. I want to talk about the joy. I want to talk about community and how important community is through my art. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about care. I want to talk about so many things and bring other people along with me. There are tons of artists out here that are amazing and they're not getting enough shine as they should. And I wanna be able to have a space where I can showcase them for you. And I would love for you to support. It doesn't matter how much you give. It could be a dollar, it could be $5, it could be $10, it could be $10,000, it can be whatever you wanna give. And if you don't have any money to give, share your network, share this project, talk about it. If you know who I am, if you don't know who I am, I have a link in the bottom. I have tons of work in my history, so <laughs> check me out. Um, but if you know who I am, you know that I am dedicated to community and that's what I'm about. And so I wanted to just create a space where we can celebrate joy and not death and sadness. So. I hope you can support. Later on in the process, I will be coming back to give y'all an update. I want to thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.